Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and please subscribe for this and many, many more videos. Uh, since so many people ask all the time, what mods do I have installed? Um, well, folks, this is it. This is all. This is all I use. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that since so many people ask. Um, I try to use as few as I possibly can. And the, and mainly the reason for that um, goes all the way back to Farming Simulator 2013 when I had a mod that took out, that, that literally corrupted my save game um, for my Let's Play at the time. So I, was, I don't know, I was like 15 or 20 episodes in, something like that um, to my series. And um, guys, is this ever going to load up? <clears throat> Seems like it's... Seems like it's taking a long time to load. But, um, yeah, I it basically wiped out my series, and I had to restart the farm and actually play to get back to, you know, where I was previously. All right, so I think we've got some things to do. Uh... Are we able to seed? Are we actually seeding this? This is barley. You know what? I can't tell if I'm actually seeding this. Is this... Is this like what barley looks like when you seed it? I didn't think... I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. I'm so confused in this moment. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let's see. I guess maybe it is. Okay. Oh, gosh. I need to get my controller here. Yes, I was literally just trying to play with mouse and keyboard. And it did not... not <laughs> it did not turn out so well. Uh oh. Oh. Oh yeah, we've got to hire. Got to go here, and okay, we got barley on him. He's gonna start laying down the barley. Uh. Let's see, okay, car. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we'll come back to him in just a second. Because we've got to do all of our rolling, but what I what I want to do is just create a headland down here so that I don't have to come back and do it again later. Might as well just get it done now. And look how little fertilizer we're using. The soil fitness is pretty much spot on. From doing the uh, precision farming stuff, so so that's you know that's really good. Oh, I've got a little triangle down there that we missed. I really wish our other field would grow. Yeah, look at that. Pretty much perfect. Though there was a little hiccup there. All right. Line this up. Yes, I can. I know I can. All right, I'm just going to go from right there. 
All right, so he's doing this uh, plowing contract, and he is just going to be doing his thing. And what's going on here? Ah, okay. Oh, that's right. I ended up the last episode over here doing the rolling. Now I remember. So I think I'm just going to roll out all these fields. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Oh my gosh, you know what? I don't even have my eye tracker. I took it off my monitor the other day. <laughs> like off its little mount. And, um, yeah. Uh, if you guys are thinking about buying a Toby eye tracker, make sure to use my link. Uh, it's down in the video description. I'm gonna actually have to check it because apparently Toby has changed the way the referral works. Um, so if you have any questions about it, if you're thinking about buying one, uh, feel free to join my Discord and ask me. I'm very active in the Discord, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have, um, as well as you know answer any questions you might have about the uh, you know, how to buy it and uh, how to make sure that you get your seven percent off or more. You know, sometimes they do sales, so you even get more off. And, uh, and I will be happy, happy to help you out with that. But uh, the Toby Eye Tracker works in more than just uh, Farming Sim. It works in Star Citizen and a bunch of other games. Uh, American Truck Sim, Euro Truck Sim, tons more. So it, it's an awesome, awesome peripheral that I highly recommend. Uh, but I want to check the uh, referral link just to make sure. I'm going to have to do that here in the next couple days. Probably actually before this video goes up. Um, just to make sure it's working properly. Anyways. Let's see, I'm gonna hire the worker. We're gonna see if he navigates this field properly. And while he's doing that, let's check. Oh, that's right, we got that bailing contract. <gasps> Which field is field 13? Is it the one? Oh, it's this little tiny field. Um. He's actually doing pretty good. He is having some problems pulling this guy uphill though. Uh, let's see, can this guy handle the mowers? We'll see, we'll see. Because I honestly, I don't remember if this guy can actually handle the mowers. I don't know if he has the power or the horsepower. Oh, we gotta turn around, don't we? We can't hook both onto the front. Come on, Brad, you can you can do better than that. Okay, yeah, it looks like we uh, can do it. All right. So 
so we're gonna cut up through the fields like I normally do, right back through there. Let's see here, where's the turn? Is this the turn? No. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, I just had like a massive sneezing fit there. Whoa! All right, let's just go full bore here. Um, did I accept that contract? No. So let's accept that contract. And we'll go get this done. Taking a drink of coffee right now, so the eye tracker is going to go crazy. <laughs> Oh, that's right we can go right in like right here so we're gonna fold these out whoops no so hopefully we're gonna get a pretty good track right yeah right there Exactly where I want it. for this one. We'll look at it here in a second. Okay, one of the workers has apparently completed their task. Let's take a look at that here in a moment. So we should be able, let's see, uh, wrap it in silage, okay. Bale the grass and wrap, okay. Bale and wrap. Oh, set destination. I'm gonna have him go there. Uh, what was the worker? All right. So everything that is now seeded in wheat or barley, the only thing we have to do is roll it all off. Oh, did we get that contract finished? We did. 
Oh, come on. <clears throat> Alright, so let's just drive this guy back home, I guess. I think I'm going to beat the mower home. Yeah, we'll just cut across here. Wee! I'm going to fold this just to go through this narrow part. And then I'm going to unfold it so that we can uh, set it back down here in a moment. I kind of wish I had another plowing contract, though. give a quick spray to the tractor. I still see mud right there. Now I don't see any. All right. Okay, so there's the bale wrapper. No! Okay. Kaplunk! Oh no! Oh, there's my baler. Oh. Oh, he's still going. Okay, awesome. So yeah, we'll just take this back up. <clears throat> the mower's finally back. And what I'll do is I'll drive him up to the highway. I'm gonna set the course and then I'm going to uh, remove the, the mowers from the other tractor. We're going to put on the wrapper and then send the wrapper up. I bet you guys thought I was going to hit that car. Boy, were you wrong. All right, set destination. I'm just going to put it right there. Uh, I want to be here. Let's go to the rear. Rear! Okay. <clears throat> Come on. We 
can go right out to the road here. And set the destination up here. Boom. All right. And he's moving. So let's see what else everybody's doing. What? Well, I'm ashamed that the... Uh I, you know what I think it is? I think it's that little bit of grass area, right? Or that little divot there. Alright, so that is the end of that. <clears throat> I'm going to take uh, this up and see about the maintenance. I may even try to refill the seed and stuff, but it's not really so important on this guy, I don't, I don't think. But, um, yeah, the reason why I wanted to bring up the mods thing, um, I've honestly, I've been wanting to do it for about 20 episodes just to show you guys. But um, just a few days back, uh, one of the people in my Discord was like, Hey, Brad, do you know how to fix the, like, my game? My game file's corrupted, and I don't know how to fix it. And I and, and he said he's, it's probably due to using too many um, contract mods. I said, well, I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> Let it be lesson learned. And um, you know, especially when you have multiple mods that overlap each other, especially like something like the different. Um, contracts mob uh, mods you can really run into a lot of problems where both mods are trying to write over the same file at the same time maybe and really bad things happen so uh oh AI worker is blocked by an object Oh, that object. Here's another question. Will it be, well, uh, I think I'm just gonna need to bring up the bale trailer. All 
I was thinking, what if I just... What if I just... Um, drive the baler down to the biogas plant, drop the bales off there, wrap them there... But, again, I think it's just going to be too much of a pain. I hope I can get one more complete bale right here. No, we cannot. All right. <clears throat> oh no. this off. Bail trailer should be no problem for this guy. So let's get him right on up there. Oh wait, what I think I might want to do... <clears throat> because we've got all that extra grass... Is let's windrow it up. Because we might actually be able to get an extra bale. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I'm trying to do here. What am I trying to do? Oh, one thing I need to try to do. Okay, so he's still rolling. I need to check up on my roller. <laughs> nope. love the sound. If I just close my eyes, it's like the most relaxing sound. Listening to that engine just... They really need to make a tractor sound like this. It literally is going to like the core of my brain. It is so nice. <laughs> Going right to the core. When I get up here, I think what I'm going to do is clip my eye tracker onto the <laughs> onto the mount properly, because <clears throat> I can look right no problem. But if I look left, and that's because it's like half of it's sitting under a piece of paper, which is pretty impressive that it can still work even despite being half covered up. Uh-oh. 
Alright, first things first. What, happen what happens if I go over a previously wrapped bale? I don't know, actually. I don't know that I've ever done it. Well, let's see. Nothing! This bale is not supported. By your athletic association. Alright. <clears throat> so the entire reason I brought the windrower up here was to see if I could get another bale. So let's see... Let's see if I can pull all of this in here, and I can. See, what it, what that does is that pulls all this extra grass that's right on the outside where we can't really get to it, and it pulls it in so we can get to it. Kind of do the same thing here. Well, we're, we'll do the exact same thing here. Though I think I missed a little bit. Let's. Yeah, see, there's still a little bit on the outskirt that we can't get. Ah, missed it. <clears throat> and I think the only reason why I missed those little tufts was because I was turning the wind rower. Oh! Okay, so we did get another bale. Let's just go ahead and eject it. There we go. All right. I am perfectly okay with this. Let's set his destination like right here. Okay. Uh. Now we just have to go back and get the bale trailer after wrapping this one, of course. <clears throat> and we'll be done. Maybe. Let's see if I have any other jobs. <laughs> I guess there's no jobs. All right. Let's do the same thing here. Set destination there. Let's see how we doing. Awesome. Not so awesome.
can't believe it missed this part. But it did, so we gotta do this. So I'm going to fold this right now. What? I am so ashamed of you. Look at that, we barely used any fertilizer. <clears throat> Which is awesome. All right, so all of these fields are rolled. Everything's looking good. So we've got some of the other guys. They're coming back to the farm. I don't even think he needs a wash. So let's just park him over here. the monster take the bale trailer up and get those bales to wherever selling point uh, I'm gonna need to look was it the biogas plant or was it the the family farms place. All right, so while I'm running this up, I'm going to mount up the high tractor here. And, yep, that got it. That it was literally that easy. And now, yay, I can, I don't have a crick in my neck anymore. Though I did this morning. <laughs> I woke up this morning and I'm like, oh, I slept on my neck wrong. Analyze and adapt. Let's go ahead and set that destination there. Target unreachable. How, how the heck is that unreachable? Oh, 
Oh my god! Here's another thing that might happen. I might only need three bales to complete this job. I might actually only need two. Now before you guys have a hyper spaz and you're like, Marianne, what are you doing? Oh, oh, I need to look and see. Oh my gosh, I have to go all the way to the animal dealer. That's even worse. Well, no, it's, I guess it's better. It's better than the family farms because it's actually closer. All right, let's see how we can get to the animals dealer. So I guess we'll have to send it like over here. Rain starting in 15 minutes, really? So I just got like a notification. What? Um, I just got a notification on my phone. It's 78 degrees. There's just like a little cloud. I guess maybe we'll get some rain here. I don't know. That's weird. All right. Okay. He's moving. This guy can come back home as well. Let's set him like right there. This guy. All right. Oh, there we go. No. What object could Worker A possibly be blocked by? I think that they, I think they get stuck behind cars. I literally think, let's see. Oh my God. How the heck is he blocked by an object? Oh, it's, wow. Did you see the cars up on top of the bridge? Come on, Giants, you can do better. I'm gonna try to name this episode that. <laughs> Literally, the, the vehicle AI in this game is so dumb. I love, I love Farming Simulator, I love it. But come on, guys, you really need to fix that. The AI in this game is so stupid, dumb, that vehicles crossing on a bridge above you affects your vehicle that's traveling below the bridge. Wow. I am kind of speechless. Now, I think if we're able to keep this last bail, that'll give us a full bale trailer when we go to pay, uh, when we go to make the silage uh, like when we get to sell the silage in the next month or two
Kubota. <laughs> That's so funny, like a few years ago when when I predicted Kubota was coming to FS19 and they were like, nope. I was so disappointed. You have no idea. All right. Here we go. Contracts. Sold the bales for almost 7,000, got an additional environmental score, and we haven't even turned in the contract. Bam. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm just hitting the key trying to get contracts. Let's see. But we ended up with a lot more money. Are you kidding? All right, so let's just do this. Let's do our... Why did I think that I had already completed this? I'm... I, that's right, I didn't think. Gosh dang it, Brad. how pretty that is but it's going to take a pretty long time for me to ah, the trees are eating me no, they're not really eating me you might have thought they were but they were not I, I wholeheartedly deny it the trees were not eating okay Brad shut up the dad joke isn't funny <laughs> god I need that left roller to do, be just far enough outside to roll that out. Um, though I do feel some silly obligation to paint that back in with the with the uh, editor. All right, so as soon as we straighten out here, I can go ahead and hire the worker. Boom, we'll get him hired. Now this guy, we definitely need to run the maintenance on. We, we're gonna refill him, storm for the winter, Wash them down the whole nine yards.
$2,400 for that. $1,200 for that. Don't know how many of these <clears throat> we're gonna even need. All right, fertilizer's full. Let's. I think we're gonna need two grain pallets. Wait, do I need these or do? Let's see, a thousand. So this is a thousand for eight hundred. This is a thousand for nine hundred. Ah, I should have bought. Okay. Yeah, it's going to take like one and a half of these, roughly. Now the other thing I'm going to have to do is go back, I'm going to have to drive the other tracker back and get the, um, that last bale that's up on that farm. If it lets me pick it up, it better let me pick it up. Oh great. <clears throat> I think we might have a little traffic jam up here. Or not. Yeah, this guy. Let's see. Let's just kind of put him like right here. Okay, he's moving. Okay, I'm gonna, no, 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 no. No, no, no. I was kind of afraid that something like this was gonna happen. Now the thing I have to be careful about right now is, is he going to turn left or right? 
We better turn right. I don't know why the front weights always take so long to clean, but they take forever. I think that's about as clean as that thing is going to get. Yeah, see how there's the one missing bale right there? Right there. See how it's like a shadow there? We're going to have all... Oh my gosh, it's going to take so long. He made it back. That's what's most important. We've got our bail. Life is good. <laughs> the only thing I was kind of hoping for is that we would get our, was that the canola crop? Or soybeans, soybeans I think. I was hoping that we would get the soybean crop finished this month, but I can see, see the water tower up on the upper left there? The field kind of just beyond the trees there, that's mine. The green field that is, not the white one. And I was hoping that that might grow this month, but since I don't, ha I can't look at it and see. I know it's on the final growth stage. I'm pretty sure, and you know, but I can't tell when it's going to be done. I mean, I can fast forward time, which I guess I can do. I don't want to fast forward time yet, though, because I want the rolling to get done. So we'll kind of wait that out, I guess. I don't think I have enough money to buy another roller. I think I did take out a loan to buy the Kubota, didn't I? So what I'm going to need to do here is, man, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I'll be able to tip this out or not. Let's see if I can do it.
All right, we'll see. That's working pretty good. I don't know if I'll be able to get the rest of the stack, though. At least not without a front loader. Actually, I guess I can just kind of... I think we're gonna have to <laughs> we're gonna have to invest in the uh, front loader some front loader time here. All right. All right. I'm gonna see what I can do. Put them level. I want them exactly level. Okay, that's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to need a rear weight. I don't know if I have one big enough. I might need a bigger rear weight. And I don't know what my biggest weight is. Well, we'll see if this does anything. Put that center of gravity as low as we can. We can get this guy off easy enough, just like that. Be able to pull the last two bales out really easily. ferment together. Maybe. Oh, we got those big bale spikes. Nice. All right. All right, let's pick all this up.
Boom, 14. All right, the other thing I wanted to look at, because we can look at each of the individual bales. So we've got 8, 8, 9%. This one is just starting. So you can see like this one up here, 9% fermenting. Oh, this is already silage. So I guess maybe in that mission, in that job, it just instantly converted it over to silage. Um, well, oh yeah. No. Yes. All right. So this guy, okay, let's get him. get our wind rower over here. My poor neglected chickens. Yeah, see, here's my soybean field. So all we have to do is wait for this to um, roll out. And again, you know, we're not... This is with the contracts mod, so there's no, <laughs> there's no contracts popping up. So I think I'm just gonna let this run out. Um, and then we'll come back in the next episode and we'll be able to start off with November. That should bring us the um, the soybean harvest and then we'll replant grass, I think, on that field. Uh, the other thing... Was... Really? You can save your game from this screen? I never really realized that. Okay, uh, let's see, price fluctuation. So what we wanna do here is we wanna go to silage and you can see that the best price is at the beginning of February. So we're gonna wanna wait until February, but we wanna check this every month. So we're here in October, uh, we're gonna go into November, December, um, let's see. I, I wish, I wish it would show us what these prices are, other than just this generic, you know, fifty-eight to four sixty-five. So, what are these? Like twenties, four sixty-five, eighty-five, five hundred five, five twenty-five, five forty-five, five. No. So it's like the the lines in the chart or the graph are not great. At indicating what we actually have. So we've got wheat and barley. Did I forget to sell my wheat and barley this summer? Where do we get all that? That one again, we're, we want to sell right at the beginning of February or in January. Actually, January might even be better. Um, okay. So we got a lot of selling to do coming up here. And, um, ah, no. Why are you so incompetent? See, messed up over here again. I don't I don't get it. Why do you choose to to humiliate me? What is that? It's weed growing, weeder. Okay, I don't know. <clears throat> that looks like something that we need the stump grinder for. Let's go ahead and pick this up. No, I don't want you to unfold. All right, but I'll do the rest of this off the screen since we don't have that much to do anyway. And uh, we'll come back in the next month or the next episode.
not an episode another month. Um, but we'll come back in the next episode and we will continue on with... Well, we're, we'll continue into uh, November, see what kind of jobs we get, work on our farm as much as we possibly can. And um, I just want to get to January and February so I can start selling all this stuff and making tons of money. So that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me once again for Farming Simulator 22. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and please subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you next time. I'm Bradham73. Bye for now.